Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a mix that sounds like this. To sound like this. By using Brainworks BX Master Desk, which is available on the UAD platform. What I'm gonna do first of all is to start from scratch. So we're gonna bring the plugin up in its default state. And now let's have a quick listen to the track. So as you can hear, just by switching in and out, it is affecting it already. But what I wanna do first of all is to get my dynamic range sorted out. So I'm gonna bring my volume up so it's in between eight and six on the VU meter. So already that's given it some level. Now what I'm gonna do is to look at the resonant filters down here. So I'm gonna switch on the auto solo button, which solos those frequencies. Now this is a really great way of controlling nasty resonant frequencies. Let's have a quick listen. So as you can hear, we get a really resonant frequency at 315. So by switching that in, that's starting to control that. Now let's try the other frequencies here. So that's gonna be all the sibilant sort of frequencies. And these are gonna be more the harsh sort of frequencies. So let's leave it at 3.15 kilohertz. Right, I'm just gonna turn the comp mix just up just a little bit. Right, let's turn the THD up a bit. Now we can control some of the low end by this foundation control. Now I don't want any more bottom end in this track, but I'm just gonna show you what it does. So if we want to increase it, just turn it up. Or control the bottom end even more by bringing it back, by taking it away. One of the great things about a lot of Brainworks plugins is their MS capabilities. So I can make everything below a certain frequency mono, which is really great for controlling the bottom end. So let's bring that up to about 93 hertz. And we can also enhance the stereo image here by turning this up a bit. which has really brought out those stereo backing vocals. Right, let's turn the presence up just a little bit, and also the treble. Now, one of the other great things about this plugin is the way that the compressor works. So you can link both sides of the compressor so it's controlling the left and right at the same time by pushing this button. Now, I always find by pushing this button, we lose a bit of stereo image. So if I take it out, just have a listen to how much wider it becomes. And also down here, we've got a compressor mode. So one being the lightest and four being the heaviest. Let's have another listen. Let's go to two. To three. And then to four. Now that's dulling it down a bit. I like it on one. Let's keep it there. Let's bypass it. and bring in. I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Join me in the next video where I'm gonna be mastering just by using Personas plugins.